certain proposals already on the table. One is the Manmohan and Mushraf formula, uh, which uh, says that you can have uh, softened borders, you can uh, ease the trade, you can ease people to people uh, movement, and that is already on the table. Whether we want to take it up at this stage or not, whether Pakistan will be ready to bite the bait or not, we'll have to wait and see. Other is again to raise these issues diplomatically and to raise it through the talks bilaterally as and when the uh, opportune movement comes. As of now, I don't think there is going to be any opportune movement. But yes, let's uh, uh, say that tomorrow we have certain uh, developments coming. Pakistan acceding uh, to clamp down completely on terror. Nothing can be predicted at present, if at all. Uh, this, they, they agree to do that. Then I think diplomatic environment will be built up and then we will be able to evolve, resolve this to various uh, diplomatic issues because I think that should be the way ahead. As far as the military solution is concerned, I think military solution uh, is, is not uh, warranted. It is not, uh, it's not a sort of recommended because of the very reason that militarily it is going to be a very risky, it's going to be a very expensive and, and exorbitant exercise because of the type of terrain we are having. It's not uh, going to be like Bangladesh where the terrain was much simpler, where there was internal uh, mutiny or the internal factionalism in Bangladesh itself. The Pakistan army, because of its uh, terrorist activities, because of its inhuman activities, already suffered a lot. In POK at present, those conditions are not arising. Yes, tomorrow if those conditions arise and we have an internal uprising in POK, then one can think, uh, but that too, uh, with a pinch of salt, a military solution. The other problem with the military solution is that uh, this may in fact trigger uh, a nuclear uh, exchange because as Pakistan's uh, strategic policy uh, depart department's advisor, um, Mr. Asawa, General Khalid Kidwai has said some time back that one of the triggers is if there is any territorial threat to sovereignty of Pakistan. And I think POK could also act as that. So as, as of now, I think diplomatically we have to pursue this issue to resolve with Pakistan. It will be time consuming. Time is not opportune at, at the moment. But let's wait and watch. I think POK's manifest destiny is to be with India. This, is, this will happen, if not today, tomorrow, day after, 20 years, 50 years, that will happen. I think uh, generating a, a, a conventional war uh, would, would be a bad idea at the moment. Because India also, I think, in the state of development that we are in, for the next two to three decades, awareness of war should be part of India's grand strategy. So I don't think we should be looking at military solution to POK at this stage. We should have patience and I think over a period of time POK will be integrated with India. India did not try talking to Pakistan on Kashmir as well as POK. There is historical evidence to say that every time a major move was contemplated, there was a disruption by way of a major terrorist strike. And Pakistan attributed this to non-state actor. We in India knew at least decades before the rest of the world that these non-state actors are sponsored, nurtured and employed by a part of the state. So negotiating them with them, which is the most preferred option in a civilized world, is becoming increasingly difficult. Like the external affairs minister re recently said that we cannot talk to them as long as they hold gun of terror on our head. But we will talk to them at some point of time. So that is one which could have led to a very amicable solution of POK. Third option, of course, is a military option, which would, in today's context, would essentially be a hybrid option, in which implosion within POK and northern areas of Gil Gilgit-Baltistan would then be exploited by the military. Considering the cons uh, the status and the posture of India which has taken that wants a rule-based world, it is becoming increasingly difficult to exercise such options. Then of course there is a factor of China which is invested heavily into China-Pakistan uh, economic corridor and there are other difficulties of forces, logistics and persecuting this option. So I think military option would be rather difficult to exercise for some time to come.